Welcome back. It's Roman with Basic to Final. This is lesson three of our FA18C Study 101 series. In this video, we are addressing navigation with the F18. Specifically, we're going to look at tuning our radios for ADF and VOR navigation. We'll look at TACAN navigation, setup, and usage. And we're going to look at the navigation computer setting up our waypoints and usage. Just a quick disclaimer, we're actually not going to be addressing every single item with regards to navigation in the F-18C, but we are going to address the most pressing items, the items that people will most likely be using most often, and just showing them the bare basics of how to get going in the F-18C. And just to piggyback off that real quick, if you don't know the difference between ADF navigation and VOR navigation and the different types of beacons, and radio navigation in general, I highly recommend you go check out some of the other online sources. There's some great information out there. Or check back with us in a few months when we have our ground school tutorial series all finished up. Okay, so we are now in the cockpit. And the first thing that we're going to look at is ADF navigation. So we're going to tune the Katisi VOR, which is 113.6 megahertz on our Radio 2. So we're going to go over here, click our Radio 2 manual, and it was 113.600, enter. All right, we have our frequency tuned, and we will now activate ADF. Oops. And we can actually hear the Morse code. Okay. Now we can come down here, hit mode, hit map, get rid of that. We can actually see that circle indication showing us the direction of the station. So that's pretty useful. The next thing we'll want to do is try out TACAM. And we'll actually tune the Katishi TACAM, make sure our VOR is lining up okay. And I'm going to keep this turn coming around as well. Okay, Katishi TACAM is 44 x-ray. So we'll turn the tack in on. Go to 44, hit enter, x-ray, transmit receive, and we can see 201 for 31, and there's the actual tack in station. If you change the scale, you can see it in relation. There's 80, there's 40, so it's right there. And it actually matches up along the same bearing line as the Katisi VOR. That's pretty cool. Now, uh, you can see 207, 31, 3 minutes, 56 seconds to intercept, and it's KTS. On the left side here, box TACAN, and on your HUD, you now have a steering queue, and we see we're 31.1 away. We can actually, uh, we'll do an autopilot thing here, so we'll right click on the heading bug. And let's see what that looks like. Uh, 214. We'll type in 214. Enter. And our put our heading bug right there. And we can just fly that course. So that's pretty neat. Pretty little nifty uh, setup. Okay, so let's look at uh, waypoint entry. We're going to go to waypoint 4. Go to data. And I'm going to amend this waypoint instead of uh, what it's currently set to. I want to go to Sunoki. So, we're going to go UFC, and then position, and I'll type in the lat long, north 421427, enter, east 420252, enter. The elevation is in feet, and it's 43 feet, and we'll change it to feet, enter, turn up my brightness there, and if we look down here, we see the elevation's right, and the lat long is right. We can manipulate its location in the sequence, we'll get into that a little bit later. Let's go back to the HSI, and we can see that the steer point 4 is showing 245 for 39.8. Let's box waypoint. And now it shows up on our HUD and we have a HUD steering queue. 
Get us back in that right hand turn again. And you'll actually see this roll out. Something else we can do is we can set this as a uh, uh, weapon designate, you know, target waypoint. So that's kind of cool. You just go down here and you'll box that. And that changes it to target. Okay, it also gives us a uh, steering cue. And now we can actually see the location in our HUD. It's a pretty, little, pretty nifty little, little setup uh, sequence. You can highlight that and actually see your flight plan. There's a lot of really uh, very useful things for the pilot with the navigation system in the Hornet. The ADF can be a little bit buggy at the moment in the current version that I'm playing on. Um, the tack end works phenomenally. And actually, let's go back to that tack end real quick. Let's say I want to set up a course. I just use my course line. Uh, let's say for the runway, we'll type in 1400, enter, boom. And now I have a course line with respect to that tack end. Uh, tack end, course, 140, enter. There we go. So that's pretty nifty as well. So you can kind of keep your situational awareness up. and It's a pretty nifty little setup. Hey, thanks for watching. If you found this video to be worth your time, please consider making it worth our time by liking, commenting, or subscribing below. And again, thanks for watching.